Hello, I'm Jim Whitcamp with Aviation Products. In this video, we're going to start building a P-51 Mustang. This is our typical wood kit, but this one is specifically for the P-51 Mustang. What I do, and I've built many of these, what I do, I separate everything into sections. One for gluing, one for rounding edges, and go from there. So right now, that's what we're going to start. So you gather all your parts of the same type and put them in piles, I do. And you do this with all your parts. Make sure when you do get your wood kit, you have all your parts that is on the plans. Everything you get will be uh, already pre-drilled, cut out, all your dados will be there. So you don't have to do very many woodworking parts of the kit. First, I clamp the wing doubler onto the fuselage. Let it dry. Make sure you have no glue coming out of this edge here. You take your five landing gear blocks, glue them together. Let them dry. You take your four wood rings that are for the hubcap adapters. You glue two of those together. So you have two pair of two rings each. Your pedals. You glue one pedal spacer onto a pedal, so you're going to have four of those glued together. You take your nose firewall, glue your doublers on either side. That's what that looks like. Your bell crank support, you have two of them. You glue those together and let dry overnight. The glue usually takes about two hours to cure, so you can start working with it after that. Here's your nose pine. Take these two pieces and glue them together. Make sure they're flush inside the openings from one another. Okay, now we're going to start showing you how to round the edges. On the wings, you've got two good pieces of plywood, left and a right. On the wings, you go from this point back to this point. Flip it over, go from this point to this point on both wings. On the elevator doubler, you only do one half edge or one half round all the way around it. On the elevator, you do both sides, upper and lower surface. The rudder, you have to start approximately right in this area and route all the way around down to here. And the same thing on this side, all the way up around back to your starting point up to here. Now we're going to take you back to the router table and show you how to do that. Okay, now we're going to show you how to install or build up the rudder assembly, rudder and elevator assembly. What this is going to do, this is your double that goes on the bottom of the elevator. So, take your elevator or your rudder, slide it on like that so it fits down in there. You're going to flip it over. You're going to put glue on one side of this. Your rounded edge goes down. You slide this into here, just 
like that. And you clamp this four or five times around here. Once then you, you get this all set and glue, gluing, you put your square here and make sure this is square. You want to clamp this in a couple spots so your rudder and elevator are square with one another. And that's all there is to that. Sure. On the Mustang, you get four feet of one half inch dowel. On the Mustang, you need certain lengths of dowels, and here they are. Okay, here's the fuselage side. After you have your doublers glued on, you're going to drill all of these holes out, seven on each side at this time. I have one dowel installed here already. Go ahead and drill the rest of these with a half inch Forstner bit. Okay, what I'm doing here is gluing, a, gluing the hole, mm -hmm. put a little bit of glue on the dowel, put it down in there best you can, take a hammer, Put it in there, wipe it off with a wet rag. I always cut the dowels a little bit longer than you sand them smooth. Okay, this is a firewall uh, nose piece. After you have your doublers glued on, install the four holes per your plans. Your bell crank support. Install your four dowels here. This hole right in the very center in the back is a 5 16 hole, so do not put a dowel there. That is for a bolt that goes during the assembly later. Now, here's the, the tricky part. You have your five pieces of plywood for your landing gear blocks. Go ahead and drill all your holes in here. Then what I do, I separate this per the plans. So you have two halves. I mark them right and left. That's very, very, very important. So what I do, say them out like this. Here's the right one, here's the left one. I put a, a line down here. This line is gonna be for the dihedral of your wing once you get building your wing assembly. Go ahead and put in your dowels B and C on each block. They're going to be flush with both sides. Once that is dried and sanded, go ahead and put in your longer dowels so they're sticking out the outside of the block. That's what you got to do next.
I just glue to, or clamp two of these together and I smooth all four sides and I round the edges, all four edges, eight edges, whatever. And then I drill the hole to half inch. Then I drill, or put it back on the router table and put the uh, radius in here. Then I go back with a 9 16 inch bit and make the hole just a little bit bigger so these uh, fit around the pedal so they're not so tight. Garlic. All right, again, thank you for watching our video so far. We will have more coming up. If you have any questions, please contact Gary at pedalplanes at gmail.com. Leave, leave your questions in the comment sections and we'll answer your questions as soon as we can. Again, thank you very much. And this is Jim with Aviation Products.